which is exactly where we are going to now. So let's have a look at the evaluation section. So if you're not familiar with the previous legacy specification, the evaluation questions on that, I think were with eight, 10, sometimes 12 marks. And that was an awful lot weighing on candidates' shoulders. So these are now worth six, but you may or may not be aware that D1s and D2s have are deliberately intended to provide some scaffold. And so do encourage your candidates, your students, to have a look at D1 and D2 when they start their answer for D3, because it should give them some guidance as to how they should structure their answer to part three. So it's, I think that's really, really useful uh, to know. All sorts of things to be done here. I'll not dwell on this too much, but suffice to say, uh, the third from last, good evaluation at the top level of three requires a fully supported judgment. Really, really important. So clear analysis, yes, but a fully supported judgment in order to get top level, top mark, should I say, in level three. And again, that importance of knowing the grid, really, really important. We're looking for best fit again. So it's quality, not quantity. And really important that you drill your candidates to identify and to be able to give some type of evaluative statement very early on in their answer. Because if they don't, they won't have sufficient content to progress from level one, because to get out of level one, there has to be some evaluation. So a really kind of clever thing to do here is just to get your candidates to write at the beginning, um, you know, interest rates are important to firms or interest rates are not important to firms. So just to say such and such is or is not important. And that is considered to be a very basic evaluative statement. And that will then kind of open the door, if you will, from level one up to levels two and three. It's not always possible to answer a question like that, but certainly on the micro, uh, it's very often the case because the, the actual stem of the question includes the word important. So let's have a little look at some of these uh, questions, answers rather. So this is a six out of six about the financial sector. This was done particular. This was answered particularly badly, I have to say, during the during the actual uh, exam. This was answered quite badly. But this is a six out of six. This is brilliant. This answer. It's just rammed with knowledge, evaluation, application, analysis. Um, what I would also stress as you can see kind of halfway down here we've got the we should be using little pointers so just halfway down we've got the on the other hand so these kind of signposts which are really really useful and then at the bottom we've got the to conclude so now they're using the judgment at the end so that's worthy of six out of six uh, next particular question Again, this is evaluate the importance of the financial sector once again. So this has got a three out of six. So there's some knowledge here, but again, knowledge is not rewarded within this mark grid, as you can see, as I'm sure you're aware. But oftentimes candidates find it a really useful anchor to structure their questions because it's kind of how we drill them. Do your knowledge, do your application, do your analysis, do your evaluation. So it's not necessary, but some candidates find that a comfortable way of answering a question. So this particular candidate has got some knowledge to begin with. They've got the financial sector is important. So again, they've got that basic kind of um, evaluative statement. There's some application further down and then at the bottom, there's some analysis. So this is a sort of mid range. This is at a level two, three out of six style answer. So just moving this on. Um, here we've got a nice six out of six question about price elasticity. So again, I'll not labor the points here too much, but again, just to say, this is very clearly in context and you'll be able to see this on my annotated versions. Um, and at the end here, we've got a nice judgment as well. So again, that's a six out of six, not really a lot of uh, content. I can see some questions coming in. I'll get to those just once I get to the end of this particular section. So here we've got a one out of six. 
Um, starts off with uh, definition, but again, we know Mark's definitions. There's a little bit of evaluation there. PED is important, but the rest of it's not worthy of any marks at all. So it's a one. And I'll just quickly zip through uh, the last few just to see if there's any kind of really important things I wanted to pull out and share with you because I know time is precious for us all. So we've got some clear signposting here. So overall productivity is very important. That whole notion, okay, Mr. Mrs. Examiner, I'm now going to start to, uh, I'm signposting to you that I'm going to start to conclude and include my judgment at the end. Uh, this next one of four out of six. Again, I would just say that point you to the first few lines of this one. So they've got the anchor at the beginning with their knowledge of the definition. It provides a bit of comfort and structure, to, I guess, to some students, but again, that's not rewarded uh, with regard to the actual mark scheme and the marking grid, as, as you can see. But it's certainly good, good technique that they've used there. That was a, a four out of six and actually continued on the next page. A little bit of confusion here between the distinction between production and productivity. And again, that's a very common thing to, to look out for with your own candidates. Uh, five out of six, just a pretty good answer. Again, continued on extra space, very important to kind of address that continued on extra space. And here we see the extra space on balance going to conclude here, or attempt to conclude. Um, this is a really tricky question. Evaluate the cost of using supply side policies to achieve price stability. So costs, supply side policies, price stability, not very well answered. This is one of the few who did pretty well on this, and this is a good example of good analysis and a final concluding judgment. And just whistling through here again, signposting the on balance kind of term. And the last one here, we've got three out of six, uh, primarily because although it's in context, the analysis is pretty weak, but there is some uh, clear, there's some, there's a little bit of evaluation at the end. And as I say, you can see all of those within, you can see all of those within this, the uh, scripts which I've shared with you. So I'll just come back now and have a, a look at the